Welcome back, we are here on Ether looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 1st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over here at Ether where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. So the link is down below. So uh, we'll start by looking at the S&P 500 and as you can see, we did rally up towards 3,990 and then gave most of those gains back. And now we're just technically at the same place. Now the market just opened again in the futures. Technical indicators are, well, they're still bullish, but they're but they're becoming more flat at this current stage. If we manage to break above the, the, the 4,000 level, then we'll see this go even higher towards 4,500 and probably 5,000. Break below here, we'll most likely find support down here at the 20 exponential at 3,930. And then also the 50 moving average down here at 3,888 at the current stage. We could also drop further than that, but the bottom of the bullish chart will probably be as far as this will go at this current stage. So we have been bouncing off the 50 moving average, the 20 exponential moving average in the last few months. And it basically looks like we are can we are just continuating the same trend that we have been seeing for the last few months. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, we ran into resistant here at the 33,251. And now we're just slowly trading, trending towards the middle of the bullish band. And, uh, and that most likely will be there most likely will be quite a lot of support down here at 32,644. Taking the indicators, they are all turning around. If uh, this uh, level breaks, then we could drop towards the 50 moving average down here at 31,733. Um, however, we are still in this uptrend and we have been bouncing off the 20 and the 50 for, well, a long time now, basically all the way back to November the 20 and the 50 have basically been holding and uh, as long as that is the case we'll probably just see a continuation of this going higher and higher. So 33,500 or 34,000 will most likely be our basically short and medium term targets. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq had a really good day today. We're, we're up basically over 2%, but we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are all improving. So MACD is heading towards positive territory. We're minus 53 at this current stage. Stochastic is becoming bullish. CCI has become bullish and RSI is also showing bullish momentum. Break above the 50 moving average and a close above the 50 moving average that could really send this to all the way up to 14,000 and probably 15,000. Uh, rejection of the 50 moving average here could send this back towards these previous lows at 12,600, give or take, or basically the bottom of the bullish band here, at give or take, at 12,500. Break below that could open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at 12,000. So it's going to be the 50 moving average that is going to make or break this, whether or not we are going to head back to the very lows or we're going to head towards 14,000. So let's look at the, the German DAX. So the German DAX has basically been outperforming all of these um, US indices. So we are trading at 15,026 at this current stage and we're still holding here. We're getting fairly overstretched. We're at basically at the top of the bullish band, but we're still not outside. We are getting overbought. We are at 70, 76 in the RSI. So we are overstretched and overbought, and therefore pullbacks at this current stage should be anticipated. But they will most likely be bought into down here at the 14,519, which is basically the bottom in the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, we could head down to the 50 moving average, and that will certainly be quite a lot of support here at 14,119. So break above here could lead us to 15,500 and then to 16,000. So let's look at a UK 100. So we did pull back 
quite a little bit in the in the UK 100, but we are still in this uptrend, and this um, indice has a long way to go in order to get back to its previous highs prior to the pandemic. And the UK is one of those countries that is actually doing really well when it comes to vaccination and getting basically back its economy or basically society back to normal. So we could see this rally significantly in the future. Uh, but at this current stage, we are testing the 20 exponential. If this breaks, then we are heading towards the 50, and that will most likely be significant um, support down here at 6,641. Rallies up towards the top of the bullish band at 6,818 will most likely uh, find quite a lot of resistance. Technical indicators are all turning around at this current stage. So we did rally here. Now we're having a little bit of pullback. 20 is still holding. So we could see a continuation of this rally or break towards the 50 moving average. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to follow us here over at Etero. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.